Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the pen accessory quest line reworks that came with one of the recent patches that kind of makes this whole system a lot easier. If you watched my video on it from two years ago, this system's basically entirely different, so not a ton of use. So if you're coming back for your second accessory here, definitely some stuff that's changed. And obviously if you're a newer player just doing this, watch this video, not the old video. Uh, quickly before we get into the system, how to unlock it, all the stuff you want to know about getting this stuff, you need to upgrade it, all that great stuff. Uh, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps to grow my channel, you used to update the new content, and we both went in. Without further ado, let's get into it and start off with what exactly is this system. So, in Black Desert, every player can get up to two free pen accessories by doing a series of exchange quest lines. These pen accessories have a value on the NA market of about 30 billion silver, and they're going to cost you roughly 10 to 15 billion silver, depending on how much grinding you do yourself um, to make that exchange. So kind of like half off accessories for the pen stage here. Let's you build up to it slowly as you continue to progress your character, gives you something to aim for, and is probably one of the next logical progression steps that every new player should do, as well as experienced players trying to fill out their accessories. Now, when you first start up this user interface, it'll be a little different. So let's jump and show you how that looks. Open up your inventory by pressing the I key on the keyboard and click this blinking ball thing over here on the left of the equipment tab. This will bring up the guaranteed support exchange menu here. What I would do before I picked one of these is look at the market for the region that you're in to see you know, which one is the best value. And then also think about what your final build for your character is gonna look like. For me, I already went through the quest line once and got the Ring of Crescent Guardian, and I think I'm gonna do it again. So in order to get started with this quest line itself, go ahead and select this menu here and pick the accessory you'd like to upgrade, then click confirm. From there, you'll be greeted with the same UI that you saw at the start of the video. This new system for the pen upgrade itself is a lot more straightforward. All you gotta do is take the Ring of Crescent Guardian or whatever accessory you chose from your inventory that you have after selecting it, and then run it through all these different upgrades utilizing Yonas Fragments, Magical Shards, Blackstone Weapons, and Old Moon Alchemy Catalysts. Varying amounts of these four ingredients plus the previous stage of the ring will upgrade all the way up to the final stage. So for the rest of the video, we're just gonna show you how to get these different items and make the upgrades for the first one and kinda just show you the system. And of course, that means we're gonna start off at the bottom we'll start off with the Jonas Fragments. So Jonas Fragments are generally gonna be obtained from a couple of different sources. The most prevalent and most popular is probably gonna be through grinding. So in the various Valencia grind zones, you will see in the drop table, Jonas Fragments. If you want to, you can search Yona in the search bar up here with the grind info and see all the different locations that will drop Jonas Fragments. So all of these different spots right here on the left will drop Jonas Fragments. You need a bunch of these, so you'll probably be here grinding for a while. Fortunately, some of these spots also drop Patanus elements, so you can work on your infinite potion as well at the same time. And they also drop black magic crystals, which you're going to need as well for this accessory quest line. So you can get a couple of birds all with one stone there by grinding at a couple of these different spots here. Those being your infinite potion and the other items you need for this Jatina accessory. Now, if you don't feel like grinding and just want to like get this thing as fast as possible, you can also melt down various accessories. So the same accessories that drop in the Valencia zones, such as like the Kadri ring, can be taken into your inventory here and melted using the L tab to bring up the processing menu. Click on the heating option right here, select the accessory and hit start. This will heat up the accessory. And when it melts, you'll get some Jonas fragments. So you can see I got Jonas fragments times four from doing that little melting there. So if you just wanna make this go as fast as possible, you can just go to the central market and buy like, I don't know, Ring of Cadre Guardians off of the market here. Wow, that was expensive. Oh, that's painful to see how much that costs, brutal. Anyway, that's the second method. The third method is going to be through AFK fishing. So if you AFK fish at the various seasonal fishing locations, you get these plump coelacanths. These can be exchanged at the bottom there. You see a weekly quest, one per family, for magical shards, which you need for this quest line, Yonos fragments, which you need for this quest line. So yeah, you can make those two exchanges there once per week for five of each of those to help you progress with your accessory here. Just another bonus little way to pick those different items up. The locations that you can do this AFK fishing at are pretty much every major city. So right here in Duvencroon, we've got the uh, little hot springs right there. If we go back up to Velia, we have the Velia hot spot that everybody loves to fish at over here. Heidel's got the fishing spot right here in the river. Altanova's got the spot right behind the uh, stable keeper over here. And then there's a couple of other ones, but those are generally the, the most popular ones that people will go to. If you want the full list of places, I'll link the uh, patch notes down below so you can go to those different locations. And I did also just update my AFK fishing guide, so if you want to get into AFK fishing, check that out too. Now, one final thing for Jonas Fragments and for all these items, you also might have gotten them from Login Rewards. So if you open up your Black Spirit safe here by pressing the B key, 
Scroll through here, you might see some Jonas fragments buried in all the different items that you have stockpiled up in here, like I have 65 of them sitting right there. As always, use the control F function and find Yona to see if there's any of these sitting around in your inventory. As you can see, I got a ton of them just floating around on different characters. That's pretty much it for Jonas fragments though, and now let's get into magical shards. Magical shards are obtained from melting down crystals. Specifically, they come from black magic crystals. So the black magic crystals, which you can also use a sealed black magic crystal to be able to process multiple of these at the same time. I'm gonna use the control F function here to find these sealed black magic crystals and take them out into my inventory. And from here, same situation again, if I press the L key to open up the heating tab, select these items, and hit start, my character will process these black magic crystals and turn them in to the magical shards. So right there, you got the little pop-up. It gives you between one and two for every one of these that you process, but generally you're only going to get one. Very rare, you'll get two from them. Now, I hinted at it before, but the reason that you might want to consider grinding in the Valencia region out here is because these same drop locations for the Jonas Fragments also have the sealed black magic crystals, and again, just to say the same sentence for a second time, in case you skip to this portion of the video through the timestamps, a tennis element is also dropped from several of these spots, so you can eliminate three things all at once. You can be working on two of the items you need for this accessory, as well as your tennis element to be able to pick up your infinite HP or mana potions. So pretty useful to do your grinding all at once in those different locations that have all three of those in the drop tables. Again, just like with Jonas Fragments, make sure you use the Find My Item function to see if you have any from Login Rewards. You can see I've got 25 Magical Shards from Login Rewards as well that I can pick up here. The third item on the list are going to be Blackstones. Now, there's going to be a unified Blackstone patch coming out sometime in the near future after this video. So at that time, you'll use the Universal Blackstone item when it does release. Until then, though, it says Blackstone Weapons, which again are going to be obtained through a whole bunch of different methods. The most popular is probably going to be just through grinding. Pretty much every single grinding location in the game will drop Blackstones at some frequency or bundles of them depending on the location. Beyond that, there's a bunch of different items you can exchange for Blackstones. So for example, if you've been doing various world bosses or your daily bosses or all sorts of stuff, you can exchange these Hunter Seals for Blackstones. You might have some in your inventory. And then of course the Find My Item function, Blackstones, and just see where you might have a bunch of these hanging around here on different characters. Also be sure to check your challenges menu, which is the Y key on the keyboard to see if you have any redeemable from within any of these items. And then obviously you can also just buy them off of the central marketplace. So you could also just buy straight up Blackstones off the market. You can see they're all sold out right now, but you can put pre-orders in on those different items. So a couple different ways to obtain Blackstones right there. The fourth item that you need are gonna be Old Moon Alchemy Catalysts, and these are obtained from an Old Moon Alchemy vendor. The NPC that you're looking for when you use this function is going to be called Old Moon manager so old moon manager these are the npcs that you can uh, interact with using the find my npc function up in the top right corner of the screen old moon manager the one located in the dragon region is over here and if i interact with that npc and click on the old moon shop option you can see old moon alchemy catalyst right here for 3.5 million silver a piece very expensive again just like these other items make sure to check your inventories for the old moon alchemy catalyst see if you got any of them sitting around you can see i got quite a few of them sitting up there uh, check to see if you got any from login rewards or anything like that. So those are all the different items you're going to need, and you're going to need a ton of them. As far as how much it's going to actually like set you back here to get all of these different items that you need, if you were to buy everything off of the central marketplace here on the NA version of the game, you're looking at about 15 billion silver, because again, you can you know buy all these items, right? You can just straight up buy these items off the marketplace. You don't have to grind them at all. However, if you wanted to go out and grind these yourself, obviously you're saving yourself a little bit of money. Plus, if you're already grinding the spot, like you were looking for a Tannis Elements for your infinite potion, again, you'll save yourself some money in the long run and blah, 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 blah. Have I stressed that enough that you should like do both of those at the same time? So now with the financial side and all the items and everything out of the way, let's go ahead and show you how to make one of these upgrades. So I'll go ahead and pick up these different items. And once you have the items in your inventory, go ahead and open the menu back up. And all you have to do is click on each of the little individual like circles for the items and put in the items uh, through this little pop-up right here. So you can see I'm just clicking through all the different items, entering them into the list here, and you'll see that it kind of like fills up a little progress meter. Once you've got it filled up, you click the obtain button, and it will just go ahead and guarantee the enhancement up to the next stage. From here, I can kind of just continue the system right along, feeding in the items as required. So this is a substantially easier system than it used to be. No more crazy dailies that you gotta do every single day or none of that stuff. Uh, you can kind of just run it down the line and feed the items in. Eventually, after you go through the system, you'll have a full-on pen accessor for your character, and if this is your first one, you can start it over and get a second, and if you've already got one, well, you can do this to get your second accessory. Now, that covers the system as far as, like, obtaining the accessory. If you want to exchange an accessory, 
you can select the item that you want to change and you get four free exchanges. So like pretty straightforward. You just trade your ring for an earring free exchange. Straightforward, you get four tries at this. So make up your mind before you click it. Again, a completely way easier system for the exchanging in the, uh, in the game here. So um, that is going to do it for the video though. So I've covered all the different items you need, where to get them, how to get them, how many you need, how much it's going to cost you, how to use the UI, how to unlock it, all those different things. If this video is going to help you, do let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next YouTube video, the next Twitch live stream, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.